to us With our mouth bridging and collide such and guess it's all Do people at your job drink coffee and then get super hyper after they drink the coffee? No. All right. I, they uh, don't. <laughs> uh, not a lot of people at my job drink coffee. Gotcha. Um, there's a coffee machine at work. It's used by three people, and none of them clean it. Ew. Ooh. Yeah, they're really, like, like they're just the older crowd, uh-huh. and they, like, drink coffee. Uh, and, like, it's, uh, I wouldn't. <laughs> Not with a Dunkin' Donuts right down the way. Mm-hmm. That's true. Okay. So you've got better options available. I uh, I have a few people in the office that whenever they drink coffee or the, ooh, I've had too much coffee type of people. Ooh, I've been pooping my pants all day. <laughs> Just like like zip zapping around? Yes. Oh, I hate them. <laughs> <laughs> I hate anybody with energy now. No, I don't hate anybody. I, I mean, I am a lethargic person, but I don't hate people with energy. I'm jealous of them. I'm envious. Yeah, yeah. That's why I, I, I dislike him. Mm. Like, like I could be like you, but I chose cheeseburgers. <laughs> <laughs> do you regret that choice at all? I do. Do you? Yeah, I wish I had taken better care of myself when I was younger. Well, you're not dead. Yeah, I'm not dead, <laughs> but I mean, you haven't given yourself a great start. Neither have I. Um, but you aren't like you aren't. There's still room to work great start. Matt, are you doing the... With the uh, start I've given myself, this is the two-minute warning before the end of the first half. (laughs) 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 A great start's like a good opening drive. That's morbidly (laughs) unfortunately accurate. You know, probably with our eating habits, the same for both of us, though. The Mm. amount of fast food we consume. That's true. This is a great way to start the podcast. <laughs> just talking about how Welcome we're... to the RLF podcast. <laughs> yeah, just... Uh, I we're missed on coffee. dying. <laughs> so let's talk about diabetes. <laughs> My name is Nikolai, and I really appreciate you still listening. <laughs> <laughs> we really do open it up, like, strong. Oh, man. I don't think so. <laughs> oh. You really want to get him with your first minute. Oh, okay. That's when we put him to sleep. <laughs> we never introduce ourselves either. <laughs> Who, uh, all right all right so let's do it there was a comment about that a couple weeks ago that we don't introduce ourselves yeah yeah who are you i'm nikolai and i started this off talking about diabetes <laughs> uh well i'm matt uh you can reach me at rlf youtube that's true and uh who's the host <laughs> dave jailbird Dave, Dave J- Jailbird. Wow. Okay. I can't. You sound like mm. Dave Jailbird sounds like the um, like the creepy guy in a fairy tale that wasn't very popular. <laughs> <laughs> I like the emphasis on wasn't very popular. No, it didn't make it. <laughs> but like if you if you knew the author and like the greater like New Jersey, like Paramus area, you knew you knew about Dave Jailbird. Yeah, you told your kids about the Jersey Devil and Dave Jailbird. He only <laughs> says his name. He's like a Pokemon. Oh wow. <laughs> okay, but he's is he's he's menacing, correct? I mean, if you get he- close to his nest. Oh, <laughs> he, he lives he in a, a nest, nest. <laughs> Jailbird. Well, he builds a nest, you know. Is uh is has he ever been incarcerated? I don't. Oh, I don't know. They have tried. <laughs> so how did he earn his name if he hasn't been a jailbird? If they've only because he's tried? supposed to go to jail, but they never they've never caught him. Oh, okay. So it's ironic, like when you call somebody who's very large little. Exactly. Gotcha. Okay, that's it's pretty taunting. great. <laughs> what? It's taunting. Taunting. Yeah. Is that what that's that's called? Uh, taunting. I well, he is a Pokemon. Listen, don't make fun of me, all right? <laughs> he is a Pokemon. Is he like the hound in Hot Fuzz? Just saying, yarp. Yarp. <laughs> yarp. <laughs> is he going to get up, Michael? Narp? 
Hot Fuzz might be the greatest cop movie of all time. No, that's too bold. But it's a very good movie. It's a very good movie. I rolled that back so far. <laughs> <laughs> you really did. You're like, you're like wow. Uh. <laughs> it's up there for me. I mean, I uh, I'm a, of the age where Bad Boys was just. I was like 13 when Bad Boys came out, so it's unfair how much I like that movie. <laughs> <laughs> Every piece of garbage that came out in 2001. I was just so far up my alley. It, like, it's uh, like Black Knight should not mean as much to me as it does. <laughs> Black Knight with the Martin, Martin Lawrence, Lawrence classic. Absolutely. I mean, what it means like, okay, so yes, it's not the greatest piece of cinema of all time. Uh huh. But it's up there. Uh, it's <laughs> it has something to say. You know, if you try your hardest and you end up in England, you, you could use all this stuff from pop culture in the 90s. If you try your hardest, you can end up in England. You know, if you fall into a uh, dirty-ass moat. Ooh. Man, I love that movie. Uh, that and, like, A Knight's Tale. Knight's Tale. You really like knights. <laughs> I do like no- I like medieval stuff. Your favorite superhero is the Dark Knight. Oh, Jesus. This is a thing for me. I like I like medieval like mid 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 ages middle ages rather, Ugh. but my mouth just took a <laughs> shit. <laughs> yeah, you know the medieval middle mum mum. <laughs> <laughs> when it was bad, you know, because it was dark. There was like a plague yeah. <laughs> or two. I don't know. I don't it know. was a while. <laughs> Something about a crusade. <laughs> Something about a crusade. Um, no, I mean I love D and D, and that's all. Uh, medieval fantasy setting. High fantasy. Well, I love Game of Thrones now and stuff like that. And obviously, Lord of the Rings is fantastic. Game of Thrones. Right. How dare you? <laughs> Lord of the Rings is all right. It's a, like a it's B plus. Honestly, at this point, this is a very. I think this is a very big leap. But with the with the amount of Star Wars movies there are. Mm-hmm. I think I might start leaning towards the Lord of the Rings franchise, just because there's too much content in yeah. the Star Wars. Star World. Oh my God, my mouth. <laughs> leaning <laughs> my leaning, mouth. <laughs> leaning towards what? What are you leaning towards? Lord of the Rings being oh, okay. a better franchise. Like I think it's one of those things where like a smaller amount of great content yeah. is better than a large amount of okay content yeah, imagine okay because they, they tried that, that with the uh, the hobbit i guess no they they did not they made three movies and that should have been like one and a half or t- barely two <laughs> right i did not enjoy <laughs> the i did not enjoy the third hobbit that was really that was, no that was peter see G- i saw the third hobbit and i was like this is this is kind of dope. I can get behind this. Oh, that was just like okay. So what is he gonna do? He's just gonna he's just gonna do a big ass fight, I guess. What <laughs> For a whole a movie though, out of it's not really no, totally. Uh, no, the dragon dies. The in, dragon's dead in the second, like halfway through the second one. Yeah, it's not. I don't like. I don't <laughs> love. <laughs> the first Hobbit is very good. In my opinion, it's very, very good. You know why? Because it's most of the book, and th- and then he's like, "Oh, I don't know. I gotta make this two more movies." <laughs> <laughs> I d- I did not enjoy it. that. Should have been one really long movie, which it already was, or two movies. Two <clears> movies anyway, probably would have been better, but, but everyone makes three now. Yeah, true. Three is a nice number too, uh, like number as well. Yeah, um, that's true. It's an it's an entertainment number. Yeah. Like fight you want if you're a fighter, you want to have a good trilogy with someone. Um mm. you know, you want someone to win, then you win then so then they beat you and then you win one and then you have the rubber match. And see. Yeah. You got to get the rubber match in. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> um like that's but then you're talking about I mean, you're talking about the greatest rubber match of all time in the original Star Wars. 
Yeah, I mean, and... Rebels win round one easily, hands down. Take Absolutely. out the Death Star. Darth Vader... Off into space. <laughs> He's all butthurt, flying yeah. around, crying. <laughs> this is the greatest. Like, Han Solo comes back. I got you, kid. Yeah. <laughs> Don't get cocky, kid. <laughs> Don't get cocky, kid. Yeah. yeah. Uh, all right, no, uh, And then, two, Empire Strikes Back. Get fucked. On and carbonite, like that's Dude, that's, that's the greatest yeah. one-two combination of all time. Yes, I agree. I don't, I don't. I, I mean, the only thing I can say is that the third didn't land as hard as the second. But when I was a kid, the third was my favorite. But now, as an adult, when I watched, it, I'm like, oh, so they just were like, Luke, you know how you're like our action star and you're like the big hero. All right, so you're going to be a diplomat and just have a conversation in the loft <laughs> with your old man and his mean grandpa. <laughs> grandpa Tudor. Just and then your dad's going to win movie. the fight. Yeah. <laughs> just for most of the movie. No, well, no, he wins the fight. Luke wins the fight. and then uh, Luke doesn't kill the Emperor. No, nor does he, he kill him in a Vader. Thing. Oh, no, Vader, Vader does, does that. that. Vader does that. Vader does that. Vader turns out to be the prophesied one. He's the yeah, I guess. Kind of. I don't know. I I think that's part of the point of Star Wars is that the prophecy there is no prophecy one. There like it's all garbage. That like the Jedi were supposed to be this noble force that knew everything, and they were kaputs. They couldn't even stop their own their own destruction when they had their greatest leader of all time. That's one of the things... You know what? Alright, I am still more of a Star Wars guy than Lord of the Rings. <laughs> yes. Okay, I just needed to talk this out. Yeah. I just didn't... I've been talking about... I was. I saw my cousin. We were talking about Star Wars and how the, the recent movies have really not landed. I saw Solo. It was okay. I loved Last Jedi. Yeah. I absolutely love that movie, but I, I, I have gone back and rewatched Force Awakens again and I, I don't like that movie. But do you but do you know why you liked The Last Jedi? Because it was different and like Because they just said fuck it and threw the equation out the window. Absol- yes. They were like, Oh, the Jedi were really smart and knowledgeable. All their books, Luke never even looked at them. <laughs> Fucking burn the tree. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Done with it. Done with it. All your Jedi shit is stupid. Yoda actually just takes a shit on the Jedi Order. He's like, whatever. Like, those books meant nothing to you. Let it live. Let it let it burn. (laughs) Who cares, dude? It like, oh, it's so good. And they broke like the uh, Kylo Ren and her like have to kill each other. Uh, Like, I I I just I love it. I did not like the casino. No, of course not. Because but that's your that's your Hollywood bit. It looked gorgeous. Right? Like, you got to admit mm. that that was a very beautiful shot. I don't remember particularly, but... No? It was, oh, I do. It was very colorful and a lot of gold and ornate. I don't know. I remember being like, oh, wow. I, I like that stuff in movies. Right. I like, Architecture and all I that. like when... Yeah, well, I also like when they just take a moment and go, hey, this is a movie. Like, <laughs> take a second and just go, ooh. <laughs> like, that's true. Because that's, it's entertainment. It was all of Avatar, and I liked Avatar. Oh, man. There was so <laughs> <laughs> now when I watch Avatar, like, on a rewatch, like, it's on FX, is that, you know, because they have the movies. Like, it's... It, I didn't realize how much of it's just them kind of looking around. It, it's it. But in the theaters, it's captivating. Yeah. It, in IMAX, that shit blew my mind. It broke my fucking brain. <laughs> I talked about that for years. It was insane. I remember, it, was, I remember, it really was an experience. I remember going to the bar after that movie, like for months, and then just you ran into people, and I was like, did you see Avatar? <laughs> and just to talk about it. <laughs> Wasn't that crazy? It was just... <laughs> Like, it was just, I looked around and I was like, oh. Yeah, and that movie made so much money that everybody saw it. Uh-huh. And everybody had some experience seeing it. It's like, oh, I saw it on Christmas with my family and my mom, could, she threw up. <laughs> <laughs> she said, Oh, moms. <laughs> <laughs> Always throwing up. <laughs> Always. Did you see Avatar in theaters? D- did you see Avatar in theaters? No, I did not. No. What? No. Have you seen it ever? Yes. What but do you think of it? I didn't like it. Yeah. Whoa. Because you didn't <laughs> see it in theaters. That's yeah, true. Yeah, that's what I've heard. 
I missed yeah, out. Yeah, okay. When That's the second true, one because comes out, if it ever does, I'd see that. I'm, I'm sure they're going to replay the first one in theaters, too, in anticipation. Yeah, they will, just so they can get those numbers up, too. Get those numbers. 4K IMAX is out now. That shit's going to look bananas. I see. I think that, like, it's changing so slowly, and it's so unbelievable that we can't fully comprehend how much like how much better movies look. But then if you pop in a VHS and you just like, <laughs> "Oh my god, you're like there's no fucking way. <laughs> this was acceptable? This is that's what That's a blob. If that's all you knew, <laughs> if that's all you knew, of course that was acceptable. That was great. Like popping in, I mean, dates me a little bit, but Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles 2. Mystery of the Ooze, baby. Woo! I, lo- I je- like, that is... But if you look at that you're now, you're like, oh, man. That does <laughs> not look good. <laughs> that does not look good. I was recently um, cleaning out a few closets around the house, doing some, like, late summer cleaning, whatever. Mm-hmm. And I discovered a just a shoebox filled with old VHS tapes. Really? And, yes... And I was such a fan of the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles as a kid. I owned three copies of the first movie (laughs) because I would watch the first one so much that I burnt out two tapes. How crazy is that? How many times? Like, oh my god. My mom says that I would, she would put it on like at least four or five times a day. Because like, if it would be like a Saturday, she's like, uh, it w- I would just sit in the living room, that movie would be on, and I would color, or I'd play with my little fake guitar, right? or, you know, go around with, uh, what, I had one of those um, big wheel, it had the big wheel in the front and the two little baby wheels. Oh, yeah. On the side. It was a trike. But, you, like, you would, you, the pedals were on the big wheel in the front. I think it was called the big wheels. I think I'm saying the name. Anyway. That was a, just a peek into my childhood. <laughs> <laughs> it was beautiful. Yeah, I, I really loved the new, And you know what else I loved? I, um, there was a behind-the-scenes thing that they did where it was like some they were doing some Broadway show or uh, like performing as a rock band. And it was like one of those like VH1 behind the music. Uh-huh. And they're like they're preparing for their concert or music video. I don't know. And they're all wearing like star versions of their bandana masks that would they yeah and they play instruments oh man it is it's it's great <laughs> oh, I, I, that. I yeah i i watched those movies so many times all but especially the first one I, which is fucked up because that's the darkest one so like, oh. it's the first one the darkest one yeah it's pretty dark man but it's you know what it is i love the rap at the end which <laughs> j- I, <laughs> I, lo- I was just I go ninja go ninja go go ninja uh, go ninja go, go, go yeah you get go, through the dark go, stuff you wait get isn't that, that the end of the second one what no that's uh yeah cause Shredder the grabs the ooze in the second one well the uh, wait, wait. after the fight the ooze oh my god am I getting my I'm getting my movies confused you've What's seen the them the so many one? times Nikolai used to put on both movies and watch them at the same time. Oh, no, you're right. It is the second one. I I said the wrong movie. Because that's the one where they're in the dock at the end with the water. Yeah. And Shredder, um, he takes all the ooze and he gets all super jacked up. Mm -hmm. (laughs) Mm-hmm. I got my... I fucked up my movies. It's the second one I watched a lot. Because of the song. (laughs) Man. I'm just... I'm a liar. I'm really disappointed in myself. You've lied to the <laughs> RLFers. Jeez. We was can it? all agree, though, the third one where they go back in time to Japan is shit. <laughs> it, was, it was trash. <laughs> <laughs> when he brought that kid back to life after he saved him from the burning building, mm-hmm. that was pretty cool. <laughs> 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 and I like that they hold up the, the lanterns to go back in time. It's so ridiculous. <laughs> um... What was I gonna, was was there not a movie or there wasn't something or like a story that you would read all the time or when I was young? Yeah. 
No, I always had to have something different. Really? Um, I think I I just was never diagnosed with it. But like, I have to have something grabbing my attention all the time. Oh. It's I, I'm always seeking. That's why I, I I like. I don't know. It's weird. Okay. It's hard to describe, but no, I would always seek out new content. Hmm. So oh. like, I if I finished like watching something and I had seen the next show that was coming on already, it was a rerun, I would, like, go and read a book until that was over. Um, or I, like, then when I started, like, computer stuff, yeah, that was it for me. Then but, you were like, TV's out. Yeah, TV's out. I can have new stuff all the time. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's constantly new. I do remember, as kids, you were the one who, would, you were always my gateway to the internet. I I just I had to be consumed by new content constantly. It was really weird. I, I'm not a guy who likes watching reruns uh-huh. until recently. Like until what recently. do you watch reruns of? Uh, like I will. I like I binge watched all of Parks and Rec, and then I watched it again right after. I Damn. that is <laughs> all of it. I binge watched it, I don't and then I was like, "Bam!" How again you can love that so much and not watch The Office? Um. So because we keep asking him to watch the office. <laughs> that's true. No, that's really not it. I, that's it's really part of not it. it. It's got to be part of it. <laughs> it's just that when I watch the office, I don't really enjoy a lot of the characters uh, acknowledging the camera. Okay. Parks and Rec does that too, and in a very similar fashion. Um, however, I don't know, man. They're different. It's characters. hard to say. It's He's a lot more serious on The Office. The Office is much more serious than Parks and Rec. That is true. I I, I like the comedy I will, aspect. I will absolutely admit to that. There, you know, there are certain moments where it's outright unbearable. Yeah, almost. someone gets eaten by a wolf. A oh my full god! Eating mm-hmm. by a wolf—it's yeah. crazy. They played that on television twice. Yep. They replayed it at the end of the episode during the credits. Yeah. They never do that. Jeez. Yeah. They well, that was a ratings grab. Big Bang Theory had just started. <laughs> Times were weird in the later seasons. We'll have a wolf on the show. <laughs> and it'll eat one of the cats. Yeah. <laughs> we're gonna miss Meredith. <laughs> <laughs> no, Meredith went down. She's uh, a tough B. She is so funny. Spoilers. Yeah. Rabies is a, is a real disease, all right? It's dangerous. That's what she suffers from in the show, <laughs> is rabies. <laughs> Does she really? Well, in the uh, season premiere of uh, season four. Oh. Michael hits her with his car, and then he cracks her pelvis, and then while she's in the hospital, they Gee. discover she has rabies. Jesus. So technically, he saved her life by <laughs> breaking her hip. Oh. Hmm. Wait, so there was a baby? There's no baby. No, no baby. <laughs> oh, baby. No baby. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Did you, you said something earlier about, um, like, when you were younger. I Yeah. We were talking about, like, what you were watching when you were younger. I have a, I have a different question about when you were younger. Okay. Uh, this one I sent out on Twitter earlier. Ooh. The Twitter, the tweet, the tweet machine. So that's what the, that's what it's called, right? Yeah. Yes. Okay. The tweet box. The tweet box. <laughs> <laughs> the tweet box seven thousand. Go ahead. Sorry. Go, you go it's ahead right. now. No. Fine. <laughs> well, they. Uh, well, we do have some Twitter questions. Ooh. Uh, and uh, I, earlier I sent out, "Hey RLFers, got another episode of RLF coming your way. Lickety split. That means fast. Wow. <laughs> Need a favor though? Just a simple answer to a simple question. If you could go back to any point in your life with your now smarts." What's the one thing you would change or do differently? All right. Oh, man. That's right? so heavy. What would With you... With my now smarts? Yeah, knowing what you knew, know now, 
Now I'm saying you got to go back to at least pre-18. Okay. Oh, if it's got to be pre-18, I was, I was like, I was, I was going to be fiscal. I was like, I came into some money when I was in my early 20s. I really <laughs> invested in Ford mm. right when the stock market crashed. <laughs> and they were real dirt cheap. But, uh, um, man. So, pre, right, so anything pre-18? Pre pre yeah, so like, pre-18. Okay. Something, something from high school, maybe from middle school. The day before my 18th birthday. Maybe from elementary school. <laughs> like, maybe you could stop yourself from, say, pooping your pants. Ooh. <laughs> in, in Wait like a minute. In, like, the third Wait grade classroom. <laughs> <laughs> that's oddly specific. <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> do you think that that's the thing that you'd change? Mm, probably not. No? I don't know what it would probably be. not. It's my now smarts. I mean, there's got to be something I would do differently. I would go back in time and uh, I would know previous. I would have the knowledge that this uh, girlfriend at the time was going to break up with me, and I'd run away. So then she could never break up with me. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think that's how it worked. No, that's exactly how it worked. We had cell phones. No. Yes. Not. No. Not at this point in time. I think I was fourteen. I didn't get a oh. cell phone until I was 15. Oh. Yeah. Okay. So, but the, <laughs> that's, that's the one thing I would change about my entire life. <laughs> <laughs> you just go back. It's like a... Like you get reverted back. Nope, and then you're just me. in that moment. You're just like, nah, B! <laughs> Where did Nikolai go? Different school. <laughs> Oh man! Holy shit! Um, any uh, you got anything, Al? Um, like what would you do? Probably uh, stop myself from that time I uh, ran over that family of squirrels. Wow! Yeah, it was you horrifying. ran over a family of squirrels on Thanksgiving. Jesus! Mm, yeah. Oh my god. They what were, like? How many did you take out? I don't know. Like yeah, how eight. big a family? So eight, you took out eight I squirrels? I, I, no. Were they in a line? <laughs> yes. <laughs> they were running down the street in the line, and you one by one. <laughs> no. At what, what point did you realize that you had done what you done? Um. Uh, pretty pretty uh early because I braked and I swerved. And that's how I got them Oh, all. So, <laughs> so you tried to evade, and that actually ended up making you uh, do the perfect turn into all eight of these all now of dead them. squirrels. Mm -hmm. And you're sure it was a family? Yeah, they all had uh, matching sweaters. Oh, Jesus. Oh. Ow. Yeah. oh, no. Yeah, I know. So that's eight? So that's, that's eight squirrels at two points a squirrel. <laughs> points? Times the family bonus, which is three. Oh, bonus? What? That's 16 times three, so that's 30. That's 48. 48 points, Al. Nicely what? done. Thanks, family of eight squirrels, everyone. Give them oh, a round. 48 you. points? What, why am I clapping? <laughs> what did he score points for? The driving system. I am unfamiliar with what you're speaking. Oh, man. Birds a point. Squirrels, two. Raccoons, three. Is that a thing from, like, no, a movie? No. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Don't hit animals, please. Yeah, no. <laughs> yeah, we're it. not advocating the uh, slaughtering of animals <laughs> by a vehicle. I just thought it would be a funny premise for someone not to realize there was a point system in place. <laughs> Dude, how do you not know about the points? Yeah. Come on, man. You turn them in at the DMV. It's you get money total, off. It's the total opposite of whose line is it anyway? The points do matter here. They matter a lot. <laughs> oh, you must have oh, been out man. that week. Mm. Uh, what are some of the responses we got to that um, question? Little bro says, I'd stop my brother from falling in an ice rink and prevent the breaking of his leg. Huh. Oh, jeez. That's, that's a good... That's a... Well, I mean, that's a noble Ooh. thing to... Yeah, uh, little bro. Sorry to hear it. Uh -huh. Yeah, I hope your brother's okay. In the past. Um, I got one... 
I got one here from at Panda Cares 480. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. They say, uh, 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 named Burger Bro, they say, uh, I would have gotten into D&D way sooner. Ooh. It's so fun, and honestly, it's pretty much made my life feel worth living. The stories oh. and new friends you make are worth more than gold. Go. That's pretty cool. Yeah, that's awesome. That is pretty cool. That's pretty cool. I'm glad you're enjoying D&D, man. I would say silver at best, but yeah, man, it's pretty <laughs> awesome. <laughs> Two copper. Uh... Man, <laughs> that's uh, have we spoken about that? The sad news. Yeah, we've talked about it. The 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 critical, uh, critical miss uh, on a break right now. On at hiatus. Least, on hiatus for the time being. Um, it sucks, but at the same time, it, it's it's probably what's best for now. Yeah. Um, but who knows? I mean, we still have all the equipment. We can still do it true yeah definitely yeah the sad thing is that it was al's fault yeah al he specifically s- said. he sabotaged the critical mess <laughs> look he was like no more of this D nonsense yeah. <laughs> he called the critical <laughs> role guys and he was like listen fellas i am the one who content creates <laughs> <laughs> all right man sorry <laughs> uh Man, uh, let's see some. Give me some your moments. dozens of views. <laughs> <laughs> um, Maggie Max says, "Make sure I don't become friends with certain people and do become friends with others, and stop younger me from posting embarrassing stuff on the internet." Oh no! Oh man, oh. that is that has got to be such a problem. Embarrassing Probably, stuff on the internet. Yeah. And oh man, I think the entire world would collapse if Snapchat just released everything they have. Because there's no way they're deleting all those pictures. No, it can't possibly be. There's absolutely <laughs> no way. And I mean, they, there is a way, but they are not. They're not. <laughs> Why would you give away all of that knowledge? Yeah. And it and power over people. I don't. I don't trust that they're not. Delete that they are deleting it. Yeah. But I, I also don't know how long they could store it for, because that has got to be an unbelievable amount of nudes. <laughs> Man, so many. <clears throat> just just all of the newts that you can imagine. <laughs> but that's got to be a real problem for everybody in our generation, and uh, who, younger. especially younger generations and stuff, yeah. who've always had the internet, like from moment one. Yeah. You know, when you're younger, you don't realize. You just put, post something that's you and your friends joking around, and then five years later you realize that you dropped some hard R's or something like that yeah and now uh now everybody wants to lynch you a lot That's of true. Ronald Reagans yeah <laughs> Ronald McDonald's yeah. Ronald Reagans mm-hmm. yeah. uh Nick Dude. Ailes says I wouldn't befriend Dude. Omega Gorilla and then Omega Gorilla said I changed my answer to dropkick <laughs> Nick Ailes <laughs> <laughs> I love uh, I love a good uh, um, fan rivalry. Yeah, I love, yeah, that's great. <laughs> I don't know who would win in that battle between Nick Ailes and uh, Omega, Omega Gorilla. Mm-hmm. I, um, without knowing how either of you two are as people, well, Omega Gorilla or your build or your a age, gorilla. Yeah, a gorilla and an Omega Gorilla. Yeah, it's probably stronger. Or overcompensating. Hmm. Hmm. But do gorillas overcompensate? Omega gorilla. Yeah. Are you, you giant gorilla? Don't <laughs> We're gonna set this fight. I'm gonna turn into John King. <laughs> <laughs> Battle of Ages. It's like that. That fucking stupid. I think it was. Logan Paul boxing match. Did you hear about that? No. Oh, yeah. Paul. Of course we do. We all hate him because he's worth nothing. But but so then he fought like some him. other guy in a boxing match. So did it was w- cool to get him to him get punched. Did he win? I don't know. I didn't oh. watch it. It was a draw. Oh, was oh, it? Did so you watch? Get punched. I, I I don't know. All I know is it's a draw. I didn't watch it. Come on, man. Come on. <laughs> you gonna come here with half the information? <laughs> Jeez. Hey, that's why Jeez you, and get, crackers. you gotta get him, um, uh... Jameson. That's true. Or Dave. He comes in with all the facts. If he doesn't have the facts, he makes them up. <laughs> <laughs> it's a good he quality to have. Facts up. 
Oh, I wonder how many people were so good at bullshitting before smartphones. Probably like, more, meet, I guess. Like, do you ever meet people who are very confident that they know a little bit about everything, no matter what's being said? Yeah. Yeah. I feel like I'm one of those people sometimes. But if you don't know something or if you're corrected, you don't... You go, oh, all right, yeah. It's true. But, like, we have friends, like, for example, Josh... Before the invention of the internet, he was probably the smartest guy in the room. Because he had the confidence to say what he thought was the facts. <laughs> Even though there's no way half the... Like, now that we have the internet, like, all the time people would challenge him on whatever the fuck he was talking about. He'd look it up and be like, no, that's wrong. That, that's, I was lying. Hindenburg was not a rock band. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so Dave Grohl didn't go to outer space, so what? Yeah. All right, he was not the 14th man on the moon. Damn, not Dave Grohl. Or the first Play ever dude. long on the moon <laughs> in a space suit. I'm going to repeat my joke because I liked it so much. Or the first dude. Oh, shit, I didn't even hear that. I'm so sorry I talked over that. Man. I'm so I apologize. It's just solid gold pouring out. Not at all. Not as garbage. <laughs> That was, that was a dad joke at best. Matt, you just joke stabbed oh. Nikolai. I yeah, did. did. Listen, I did. Al, you sound sleepy. What's going on? I took a whole bunch of melatonin. Oh, why would you do that before recording a <laughs> podcast? I was trying to figure out the best way to get you to say, you're, you're sounding a little bit sleepy, baby. <laughs> Mission accomplished. <laughs> Um, you are a method actor. You yes, always have been. Yes. No, I don't know. It's uh, I don't know, I'm just feeling a little, uh, little, little tired, I guess. A little sluggish. Did it's, you have a long day? I think it's warm in here. That's why. Oh, that always makes me very sleepy. Yeah, it's like, ooh, it's nice. <clears throat> Do yeah, sometimes I am like, ooh, it's nice. Yeah, because it's warm. And that's nice. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, this right now? Well, this is nice. Do you, you you are one that prefers like being warm over being cold. So, but either, nevertheless, it, I do get sleepy when I'm warm. Yeah. So I, I get you. Because you're because com- you're comfortable. Yeah, you get like, all you get all heavy oh, eyed. Yeah, get it in. Start scratching your belly. <laughs> Nothing can happen to me when it's warm. In the cold, you're like, I gotta fight for survival. <laughs> <laughs> We're all like Winnie the Pooh when we sleep, right? I daydream about honey. Yeah, and we don't wear pants. <laughs> yeah. But we keep a shirt on. <laughs> that is that is how I sleep. <laughs> I sleep full poo. Full, full, full poo. poo? Full bone poo. Oh, full poo. <laughs> you oh, never go full no. poo. No. Can't go full poo. I, that's why it's a full, that's why it's a regular T-shirt. It's not a cutoff sh- polo. Like not, it's not a color polo. <laughs> Have you ever noticed that his shirt has a collar on it? Yeah, but it's a cutoff <laughs> <laughs> at the waist. I thought we were going full poo, <laughs> just letting dangly some taint. Oh <laughs> man, a low cut polo. What? <laughs> <laughs> a high cut polo, not low cut. That yeah, goes right so, under the nips. Why is it so high That's cut? Right. I don't know. Or did you just Google an image of Winnie the Pooh? Yeah, it's so high. <laughs> I know. It's weird. Not that creepy horror movie doll. <laughs> Fucking Winnie the Pooh that just came out. Oh, oh, no. I didn't see that. It's live action. Oh, no. Is it really? Yeah. I don't like that. Hello, Christopher. <laughs> Hello, Christopher Robin. Oh, bother. Bam. Oh. I don't like that. No. Nope. Nope. Get that away. <laughs> <laughs> I don't like when they try and make the uh, the cart the animation look like real. If you want to do that, just do it like it's a stuffed animal that's come to life. They did that just fine in the nineties. Like they there did were it in nineteen Ted. movies a there was, that's true. They did it in Ted. Yeah. I was just thinking like there was like eight movies a year. Where they had like babies talking or dogs talking in the nineties. Why is not that a thing anymore? I need Shit, some more dogs soldiers. talking. <laughs> <laughs> they had toys talking. 
Milo noticed they had dogs and cats talking. Yeah, there's like there's like forty five movies a year in the nineties <laughs> with talking dogs. Far from home? Was that Yeah. I think they were talking. Yeah, they're the dog and old dogs yeller. and a cat. We gotta make these talking. animals talk. They walked yeah. across country to find their owners who left them. Because they were far from home. That's right. That's what I'm saying. We need some more talking dog movies. Or animals. <laughs> a bunch of bird movies? I I actually... I'm going to roll that back because I feel like a few years ago there was a uh, Kevin Spacey oh God. As talking cat movie. And that didn't do well. That was before all, all the other uh, creepy stuff. Yeah. Kevin Spacey's as a talking <clears throat> cat? I thought he was boss baby. No. Alec Baldwin's boss baby. Is he? Oh. Alec. <laughs> oh, Alec. Oh, Alec. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so you said earlier something that intrigued me. You said we had some stuff to read. Okay. We got some stuff to read. What's that what's that shit? <laughs> what's that shit? What's that shit? shit? <laughs> All right. Um, this is from Jameson. Oops. Oh, Jameson. That's for you. <laughs> <laughs> we used to call him Jason Bourne. Do you remember Jason Bourne? Yes. Yes. Jason. He Bourne. didn't know his name. Yeah. Who? Oh my God! It's Jason Bourne. <laughs> um, and uh, he sent us an email that says, "I have not had a computer or Wi-Fi for one year." Wow. So okay. Jesus. Hot diggity dog. By choice? No. Hello, RLF. Um, as the subject line says, I have not had real Wi-Fi unless the bar behind my apartment I have moved into counts or my PC for an entire year. This means I've not played any new games, seen little to no YouTube videos, but most importantly, I missed a year of RLF. Oh, oh no. no. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Jinx, bitch. <laughs> Uh, Jason continues, what have I missed on the podcast or your lives in general? I'll end up watching all the videos I've missed, but giving me a too long didn't listen would be fantastic. And then, um, Jason's provided some backstory. Uh, okay. So, uh, I didn't have Wi-Fi or access to my computer. Um, in August 2017, my dad quit his job after 20 years of working for the same company as a manager. At that time, my mom and dad were renting our house from a part owner of the store my dad worked for. Once my dad quit, that job the man we were renting from decided he was upset with my father and evicted us and also stole his last paycheck. I dig it down. Oh, oh shit. Wow. Oh, no. Um, which, yes, is against the law, but the people who did this to my dad planned on suing and blackmailing my dad if he said anything to lawyers. And I know this because they sent us various letters saying they would do so. Fast forward three months, and we finally have moved out of the house we were forced out of, and my family of five now lives in a two-bedroom apartment because my father is struggling to find a job. Me and my brother did not have a room and stayed in the living room, and we had our entire house stuffed into a small apartment, maybe a quarter of the size of the previous location, leaving no room to have anything but my clothes not in a box. This goes on for two months, and my family was scheduled to move out of this location when suddenly and unexpectedly my mother passed away, which obviously derails, derails our entire moving plan. After eight more months of living in the apartment and my dad going through several jobs, he gets a steady enough job for us to move out and have enough room for everyone, and I'm able to use my PC again and talk to my online friends and watch Al Chess Breach videos, question mark. So, um, we got some PS's. P.S. First off, uh, oh. Jason Bourne, sorry to hear about that. I'll take you a dog. Yeah, absolutely. Is that the P.S.? No, but, um, okay. I just wanted to say before we got to the P.S., like, uh, sorry to hear about your mother. And, uh, yeah, yeah. Um, that is so awful yeah. to hear about your mom, man. That that really is terrible. I'm so sorry for your loss. Um, but yeah, Jason, um, thanks for writing in. Thanks for uh, letting us know what you've been up to. And uh, yeah, yeah. hope the best for, I, for I the hope, future. Yeah. I hope you enjoy catching up on the back catalog. Uh, but to answer your question as far as what you've missed, uh, first and foremost, of, of course, unfortunately, you missed the departure of Seich. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Um, he is no longer a regular on the podcast. No but bueno. You we were lucky enough to have him on a few episodes ago, uh, so you can look forward to listening to that episode. Um, and that's oh, and then Al moved to New Moon City. Right. Yeah, so I sa so, so I'm not in the same room as them. That is correct. So you are watch. satellite. You are you are 
sitting in via satellite. Yeah, it's like a news show. Yes. Mm-hmm. You're like a reporter who's on the scene. <laughs> but unlike a news show that has a production team with me and Nikolai, it's two dudes sitting in a room staring close at each other. <laughs> really close. We shouldn't. We don't have to sit as closely as we do, but we do. We sit re- like we make sure that we're almost touching. At oh, all just point. scooching close. Yeah. Uh-huh. Huh? Well, if uh, you close. blink, cheek if you blink. We, we were thinking about changing the name of the podcast to Cheek to Cheek. <laughs> to, to the Chew? <laughs> cheek to Cheek. Ooh. Cheek to Cheek. I like that. You know, because the way we podcast. <laughs> yeah. Cheek that to would Cheek. Be so, <laughs> could you imagine? <laughs> that would be so that would be so uncomfortable. It would be so <laughs> just warm. Just be next to... S- yeah. W- oh, God. I would hate it. I'd be like, you wash your face, Man. right? Before we do this. <laughs> you, you, I really hope you did, right? Um, <laughs> you didn't eat any onions today. Because last week was rough. Uh, how about you, Matt? What's uh, what's something you'd summarize about RLF this past... Man. Okay. Yeah. Um, hmm. We... We dropped a lot of the format. Yeah, that's true. Um, we, I mean, we still have the same bits, but we just kind of scatter them throughout, and we change some of them up. And uh, I think it's... Uh, we tried to do it's, advice it's, and then stopped. Almost immediately. Well, but <laughs> I, we, we, I mean, we, we still can. We just kind of did a little bit. Well, um, no, no one really wrote in either, so... Yeah. That's true. Nobody needs our advice anymore. We're yeah. washed up. Yeah. <laughs> Everything's better like now. Old so. dish rags. That's true. We made everything all better. Um, what else? Uh, you will get to enjoy listening to the start and end of Sticker of the Week. Yes. That's true. Uh, that, it's like that bit never existed for you. It- <laughs> <laughs> There's a sticker full of tables here. They mean nothing to you. A sticker full of tables. I love oh, that. Fuck. That's great. A sticker full of tables. Fuck you. I'm so tired. Oh, man. A sticker oh, full of man. tables. All right, Al. You know what we need right now? We need to get this picked up. We need some Tommy gun injected into our veins. Get him in here. And let's take a look at the comments from last week. The video. To have a place called the comment section where people can type out heartfelt and thoughtful reflections of the videos they just watched. Like here at our love on Wednesdays, now the gang will read a few. It's really hard to rhyme the word Wednesdays. Let's sway. Um, BT dubs, uh. Jason Bourne's PS was, did it really fucking take a year to make another Saichi boy tell him? <laughs> <laughs> yes, it did. And it will probably be the last. <laughs> uh, and then PPS, Jenny L. What? Jenny oh, L. Oh, we just said Jenny L. Oh, gotcha. I thought, like... God bless your soul. Yeah. All right, P. Jenny L. I, I <laughs> can only imagine the worst at this point. It has oh, been so no. long since we heard from you. And that's tragic. Hey, that's life. That's life. <laughs> so, uh, do you have anything uh, from the comments? Um, looking right now. Um, I've got a. I've got one. Oh, okay. Uh, Mr. Holdout says, "So first, y'all talk about babies, then you complain about traffic, then you talk about how Nikolai doesn't understand any of this damn modern lingo, and finish off with yelling at kids from your lawn. What you prefer, what your preferred share would be, all while Nikolai slips into an old man, um, little conversation. Yep, we finally <laughs> reached that point, folks. RLF Geriatric Edition. Ooh. <laughs> yep. Did you leave it in the episode last week? Yes, a little bit of it. Oh my god, I can't believe you did that. I was so embarrassed. I'm so tired. No, it's fine. All right, there's a reason for why I fell asleep last week, and it's not just because I'm sleepy and it's the geriatric podcast. I have recently started working a second job, and I have been working a lot of extra hours, so I was a sleepy boy, all right? It's true. All right. <laughs> it's true. Sons of bitches. And also, uh, every time uh, 
he like starts to fall asleep. I've been doing this new thing where I I actually stand outside his window and I clang cymbals real loud. Wow. <laughs> oh god. Yeah, yeah, I don't like it. I don't like it at all. Yeah. Every day he's like, "Where are those cymbals coming from?" Fucking bad. <laughs> I know what you. <laughs> Sometimes I just yell that, though. And my neighbors are starting to really hate me. <laughs> yeah. Um, Antilochus, uh, the title of the episode was Please No Clapping, and Antilochus wrote Defiant Applause. Oh, thank you, Antilochus. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I like that, Antilochus. Well done. Drinking Buddy says... Um, the, oh, oh, oh. the what? I'll, I'll tell you in a second. Nothing, go ahead. Uh, Drinking Buddy, Drinkin Buddy says, says the lads. That's it. All right. <laughs> All right. Thank you very much, Drinking Buddy. The lads, the lads to you as well. Yeah. Uh, how about you, Matt? You were chuckling at something. Yeah, I saw this one here from uh, uh, where was it? Uh, La, uh, Liama King. Okay. Might Liama be Llama King. King. Llama King. Uh, one time I was at a McDonald's, some random person sat at my booth because he thought I was his drug dealer. It's the only time I've been confused with someone. <laughs> That's when you know someone looks like a drug dealer. Yeah, well, yes. <laughs> Yeah, uh, that's that's got to be a moment. Wow. All right, so that is in response to a story I told last week in which, or two weeks ago at this point, where I was just about me being embarrassed. Anyway, um, I hope you really evaluated yourself in that moment. Like, hey, what am I doing that I look like a drug dealer? <laughs> <laughs> is it the hat? Is it the plaid jacket? Yeah. Is it the baggy jeans with multiple pockets? Oh, it could be the gun you have in your waist. <laughs> oh, what? Yeah. No. Couldn't be that. Oh, what, what, what do we have? Only a 57. Ooh. All right. <laughs> Maddie's, we're, we're, we're pretty rough. We're fading. Oh, I hear you. I'm fa- we're, all, we're all just going to... We're all, all three of us. This has been a limp. This has not been a sprint. We were, gonna, we were gonna roar across the finish line, no. and then it's been more whisper. of a whimper. Uh, Matt, you have another comment for us? Uh, oh, we thought you had one. Sure. <laughs> so, oh, uh, Dylan says, Matt, sure. you're no, finally I, back from the dead. Sorry. <laughs> no, it's okay. Uh, yeah, yeah, I, I am. Uh, I'm. I'm not dead. I'm just uh, slowly dying. Oh no. So. What? Well, we all are. It's yeah, fine. right. Well, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. In the sense, <laughs> in the sense that like Father Time is undefeated. Father Time, he's gonna kill you. Father Time, he's got a gun. <laughs> oh my God! <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> oh wow! I want to make a comic book where Father Time is the villain. <laughs> he just runs around, just slaughtering, just people. murking people. I mean, you can't do anything about him. Like he's a serial killer, and every detective's trying to catch him. But well, matter. there is one force that's as strong as as Father Time. Who's with for- who's Mother that? Nature? Oh. Sometimes they work together. Hmm? Yeah, that's when you. That's when things are bad. That's true. That is true. <laughs> it's not good. All the time, he's got a volcano now. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> it has clocks in it. It has clocks. Oh, what the in the volcano? The clocks in the volcano, be because he's father time. <laughs> Fall the time. That made sense. <laughs> clocks in the volcano. Hell yeah. <laughs> Get it. <laughs> that's our, that's I, our uh, new uh, show. It's gonna be uh, on Tuesdays. Oh, man. The Father Time Chronicles? Yeah, it's going to be great. And he's just a horrific <laughs> genocidal maniac. Yeah, most what of What do you episodes. do when your dad is Father Time? Oh. Your mom is Mother Nature. What? <laughs> oh, Dad, can you play catch with me? I'm busy creating the Spanish flu. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Father Time. Um, Who makes your mother? That's how Father Time talks. It's a little bit like uh, the Duff Man. <laughs> but, man. but in my voice <laughs> Father time <laughs> um, Hey I'm gonna murder you <laughs> With a heart attack <laughs> He just punches you in the chest <laughs> Father time I get everyone eventually <laughs> <laughs> It's time to go <laughs> He loves any, th- any sentence He can work the word time into uh, Hey father time What's that You know where we should go I do not 
Let's go, uh, you wanna look at some pictures? Father Time loves pictures! From the fans, from the heart, it is RLF fan art. I'm like a radio DJ in the late 80s. <laughs> <laughs> Father Time's gonna be right back. Gotta go drop some cancer on some kids. <laughs> no. <laughs> Father Time does do that. He sometimes. does it, man. I don't <laughs> control what he That's does. That's true. That's true. It's, That's he's just, awful. He's the worst person. Man, Father Time, I've learned so much about you. I don't like you anymore. <laughs> he's a real piece of trash. Yeah, he's garbage. <laughs> but um, I'm a fun guy. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you, uh, Tommy Gunn. I hope you, uh, hope you get home safe tonight. <laughs> Stay away from Father Time. <laughs> um, uh, this is from, uh, Roswell. Uh, uh, New Mexico? No, just the person. The whole town? Yes. All right, uh, I'm speaking to the mayor of Roswell. Go. Roswell Gray here. One of your four female listeners, Goofy Face. <laughs> I, I... Yeah, I think that's accurate, Probably. yes. Um, I want to start out by saying thank you for the hours of entertainment you've provided over the years. You've made me want... You've made my long commute to work and sporadic housework much more enjoyable, smiley face. I've listened to the podcast for years but never contributed anything. Since I've had a little bit of free time lately, I figured it was time to stop being a freeloader and send in some fan art. Unfortunately, oh, drawing nice. people... Sorry. Unfortunately, drawing people, especially faces, isn't my strong suit, but... Do you know what is? Space. What's that? Space. The final frontier. Space. So I drew space. Mm. Oh, I thought you whispered babies. I drew <laughs> one of my favorite characters from RLF. You, you might not be able to draw faces, sir. But well, you, you certainly can draw spaces. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Man, that's pretty. I gotta take a look at this. That's pretty. Yeah. Uh, oh my god. What does that say? On the stars. In the, oh the my god. Left, it's it's the jam! <laughs> <laughs> Space Man Nikolai here. Super jammed about the photo. Thanks a lot, buddy. Uh, thank you so much. I really am just well. turning into a, an 80s DJ. I've got <laughs> you really were characters. born in the wrong era. I've got three characters that are you all pretty much the same. B A B. I've got three characters that are all pretty much the same. They're all excited about their thing. <laughs> well, Hansby doesn't like his wife. And out, he does like alcohol. That's That's true. what he's excited about. <laughs> yeah. Or <laughs> what? Forget about Father Time again. <laughs> Father Time's gonna go. <laughs> nope. I can do it. Oh, no. no I can do it. Father Tom will be right back right after these messages. Until then, here we got uh, Steeler's Wheel. Uh, clowns to the left, me jokers to the right. A little bit of stuck in the middle with you. <laughs> <laughs> that was really good. I'm telling you. you can, it's, that's, that's Father Tom in a nutshell. Oh, oh man. See, my Father Time is more about the murder. Yeah. Yeah. Mine does the murder. That's where he's going when he says be right back. Yeah, but mine but, is bra <laughs> like wants to brag about the murder. <laughs> <laughs> Father Time, you need to calm down. But I love polluting water sources. Yeah, stop putting your. You know what, on Father there. Time? I'm really nothing on that one. I, 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 you know what, Father Time? I'm done with you. Oh, <laughs> oh no! What? <laughs> I'm done with you. You. But I just got here. <laughs> no, I've still got juice left. No, he was here before, Matt. He was here before. <laughs> <laughs> he came back. He left for a little bit. I okay. know. I know. <laughs> Wait, um, hold on. Who drew the picture again? Uh, Roswell. Roswell. Oh. Oh, how the fuck did I forget that? Roswell, thank you so much. That is an amazing picture of space. And I, I love that picture with all my heart and soul. Yeah, thanks, Roswell. Yeah. Um, Roswell, thanks again for all the laughs and for helping me through some dark times. And now to say something I've always wanted to say. The traditional sign-off of us RLFers. Sorry for the book. 
Sorry for the book. Oh, uh, that I is the it. traditional yep. sign off. Yep. Sorry for the book. Uh, Space wait. medical. I said sorry for the book. All right, wait, I got nervous for a second. So this. So wait, are you telling me that uh, Roswell sent in a picture of space? <laughs> yes. Are you sure that with Space Man Nikolai up there? <laughs> oh my goodness. Floating was, around in space. It was Scully. <laughs> Scully's Oh, was it Mulder? Ooh, which one? <laughs> Scully's super jazzed about it. I've always been more of a Mulder guy myself. <laughs> Mulder my boulder. I fucking hate Mulder. <laughs> So he said Nikolai didn't know what to say to that. <laughs> he, just, he was just flabbergasted. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> he seemed excited. Helpful. Molder my boulder. He just was tickled Ooh. by it. He's like, oh, it arrived. I like that. <laughs> You're looking it up on oh, Google. Sure. Like, mm. <laughs> Father Time says, oh, no. don't buy a gun. He's back. <laughs> I have a... I have a question, actually, for Spaceman Nikolai. Oh. If if you were to fire a gun in space, what would happen? Oh, man. What would happen if you fired a gun in space? I wouldn't know. I would have no idea, because I don't mess around with guns. But why? Because I live by one rule. Space is awesome, and if I need a gun, I don't want to be there. <laughs>